Hello children, welcome back to Charu Ma'am's Part Shala. Today, we are going to do an activity which you have done earlier. For this activity children, you need one 10 rupees note and you need 10 1 rupee coins. Parents, before giving 10 rupees note and 1 rupee coins to the children, kindly disinfect them. You can wash them and dry them and then give to your child. Or you can use printouts of this 10 rupees note and 1 rupee coins just like I have the printouts. I have a printout of this 10 rupees note. This is the printout of 10 rupees note. And similarly, for 1 rupee coins also, I have this printout. So from now on, I will be using printouts. But it is up to you whether you have to use the real money and coins or the printouts. So let us start this activity. Children, let us revise again. Which house is this children? Yes, this is 10's house. And this is 1's house. 10's house is locked and 1's house is open. Now children look, somebody is coming. Who is coming? Who has come children? Oh, look children, 1 rupee coin has come. Tell me children, to which house will this one rupee coin go? Will it go to Ten's house, children? No, it cannot go to Ten's house because Ten's house is locked. So it will go to One's house. See, it has gone to One's house. So we have one coin here. So I will write here one. Now one more comes. Where will it go children? It will go to one's house. Now we have two coins here. So I will write here two. Now one more comes. One more has come children. Now how many do we have? One, two, three. So I will write here three. Now one more comes. Look, one more has come. Now how many do we have in one's house? One, two, three, four. So I will write here four. Now one more comes. Look children, one more has come. So I will write here five. Now one more comes. Where will it go children? Ten's house or one's house? One's house. So it has gone to one's house. Now how many do we have in one's house? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I will write here six. Now one more comes. It goes to one's house. How many do we have in one's house now? Seven. So I will write here Seven. Oh, one more coin has come. It also goes to one's house. How many do we have now, children? Eight. So I will write here eight. Now one more comes. And it also goes to one's house. How many do we have in one's house, children, now? Nine. So I will write here 9. So we have 9 coins in 1's house. 9 in 1's house. Now 1 more comes. 1 more comes. Where will it go children? Now it cannot go to 1's house. There is no place in 1's house. 1's house mein toh jaga hi nahi hai. It cannot go to 1's house. Where will it go? Oh, look children. Ten's house has opened. Now this one rupee coin can go to Ten's house. 
but this one rupee coin here is feeling very sad he is saying i don't have friends i want friends i am feeling very sad i am getting bored here what should it do what should it do then it gets an idea let me throw a party in my house in tens house and call all the friends from one's house and we will have a party i will not be alone he is saying everybody come to my house i will give you a party come to my house so children as they go we will count i am keeping this 1 rupee coin on side because it is already here to main isko side mein kar rahi hu ye to pehle se hi tha now let us see how many more coins are coming to tens house you have to count with me ki aur kitne coins tens house mein aa rahe hain 1 count with me 2 थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन सी चिल्ड्रेन नाइन है ऑलरेडी हैव योर सो टेन सी वी हैव टेन योर नाउ काउंट वन Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I am going to replace all these coins with ten rupee note because ten coins and this ten rupee note they are same. Ten coins or ye ten rupee note same hi hai. They are same. So I am going to replace them with ten rupee. Note here. Now, children, see. Now we have a new number here. Who is in tens house, children? One ten. We have one ten. So I will write here one ten. And see, this is how we write and. We will not call it plus. This is and. Who is in one's house, children? Nobody. So we will write here zero, because there is nobody in one's house. One ten and zero extra. Zero extra is. This is how we write is. Number ten. One ten and zero extra is. Ten. This is how number ten is formed. Okay, children. Now let us see how to write number ten under tens house and ones house. Look, who is in tens house? One ten. इसको हम क्या बोलेंगे? One ten. One ten or ten? एक ही चीज़ है. So I am writing here one ten. And who is in ones house, children? Nobody. So I will write here zero. One ten and zero extra number ten. So this is how we write number ten under tens house and ones house. Now children, somebody else is coming. Who has come, children? Look, children, one extra has come. Where will this one extra go, children? To tens house? No. it cannot go to tens house only one ten can be here so where will it go it will go to ones house so we have one extra in ones house one ten and one extra so let us see children what number will this become now in tens house we have one ten so we have written here one ten and Who is in one's house, children? Check now. Now we have one extra. Earlier we had nobody. Now we have one extra. So here I am going to change. One extra, one ten, and one extra is number. 
11. We have a new number now children. 11. So I am changing this number. 1, 10 and 1 extra is number 11. Repeat after me children. 1, 10 and 1 extra is 11. This is how we get number 11. 10, 11, 10, 11. So let us see how to write number 11 under 10s house and 1s house. What do we have in 10s house? 110. So here I will write 110. And what do we have in 1s house children? 1 extra. 1 extra. So here in 1s house I am going to write 1 extra. 11. 110 and 1 extra is number 11. So this is how number 11 is written under 10s house and 1s house. Now we will see how to count number 10 and 11 on Ganit Mala. Children, we have these red beads 10. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is 110. This is 110. Children, these red beads are 10. So, if I ask you to take out 110, just shift them together. These red beads, white beads, red beads, sub 10 ke groups mein. So, jab aapko ma'am bolli ki, take out 110, just shift all the red beads together like this. See, I have shifted them together. Did you see children how I shifted them? One more time we will see. I will just shift them together. This is 110. So 110 and 0 extra is number 10. 110 and 0 extra is number 10. Now I have to make number 11. How will I make number 11? This is 110. If I take out one extra, it becomes number 11. 110 and one extra is number 11. Okay children? So, so children, you have to practice counting numbers 10 and 11 on Ganit Mala like this. So first activity is to do numbers 10 and 11 with rupee and coin. And, and next activity is to count 10 and 11 on Ganit Mala. Children, it is time to do work in our maths notebook 1. So, here we made flower. We did patterns on this side. Wrote numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Turn one more page. We did numbers 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 here. And on this page, we wrote numbers 1 to 9. Now you have to turn one more page. So on this page, we will learn how to write numbers 10 and 11. So before writing numbers 10 and 11, we have to write down the date. Today is July 9. So here on the red line, I am writing 9 dot 7 dot 20 20 so, did you see children? I have written the date here. 9.7.2020 Now, ask your mama or papa to write for you on this red line. Numbers 10, 11. Now children, you have to do this setting with me children. Now look carefully. Below the date, put a dot. Okay children, below the date, in the first box, I have put a dot. Now, now children, 
Here in the first box, write down capital T. Now in this box, next box, write down O like this. After one's house, again put one dot. Now in the next box, write down T for tens house. And in the next box, write down O for one's house. See, I'm making a round. Now don't close it. Just take it inside. This is one's house. Tens house, one's house. Tens house, one's house. Now we will practice writing numbers 10 and 11. So below this, first tens house and one's house, we will write number 10. See below tens house, I am writing here 1. And below one's house, I am writing here 0. First you have to make a capital C like this. Now close it. And we have 0. 1, 10 and 0 extra is number 10. One more time we will write. 1, 10 and 0 extra is number 10. One more time. 1, 10, 0. How to write 0? Make a capital C first. Now close it. 0 extra is number 10. See my numbers are touching the blue line. 1, 10. And 0 extra is number 10. So children, I will write number 10 till the last box. And I will say and write. So till here you have to write number 10. Now let us see how to write number 11. Don't start writing from here. Okay children, 1, 10 and 1 extra is number 11. See children, my 1, 10 is in 10's house and 1 extra is in the next box. One more time watch. 1, 10 and 1 extra is number 11. Say and write. 1, 10 and 1 extra is number 11. 1, 10 and 1 extra is number 11. So like this children, you have to practice writing number 11 till here. Till the last box. Just like we have done number 10 till here. You will practice writing number 11 till the last box. After completing this work, send me the photo of your beautiful handwriting. I will be waiting to see your work. Till then, take care children and stay safe. Bye-bye children.